First, as far as instructional purpose, you can start with a basic content lecture. Okay, so flipping a content-based lecture is how I started. An example is that World Religions video to the right. It just provides an overview of some type of topic that we go deeper in in class. Another thing you could do is make a review and remediation video, which you can see to the left there with my civics class. That's a good end of unit or end of semester way to have students review. And the nice thing about that is you can actually use these videos the next year to front load instruction if you choose. Another example of purpose would be to model skills. You can see my colleague Brian Germain there on the right providing a skill on how to uh, create an effective summary and he's also reviewing the assignment template. So this is a good thing to do if you have uh, multiple assignments with the same format throughout the year or skills that are going to keep coming up again and again. Instead of teaching it over in class, create a modeled skill video. Another example is a tech tutorial. On the left I'm giving a quick tutorial for how to use Google Drive effectively. This is good especially if it's a new technology or a learning management system or something that students will be engaging with for the first time or that you know they may have to go back and uh, get some further instruction throughout the year. Then on the right there you can see I also provide some assignment instruction. So if it's a new assignment or again an assignment that's going to keep coming up, I'll make a quick video providing instructions for it. And this is also good for students that maybe have missed class or come into a class partway through the semester. This helps them catch up and see what some of the uh, formats of the assignments are. Okay, three other ways to create your videos would be to create differentiated videos. So for instance, if you have a high level video or a low level video for a different content or skill or the complexity of whatever it is that you're teaching. You can make a video to address a misconception. Say something happens in class that you find a lot of students have a misconception about or you know that students from the past few years have had this misconception. Create a video addressing that. And lastly, you could create an inquiry hook video. So make a video that doesn't answer a question or model a skill, but instead asks a question and has students grapple with it once they get into class.